don't look now, but we might end up seeing a number two seed in the Western Conference and a number one seed in the Eastern Conference go home early. Like, what is really going on? I'm talking about yacht being fueled as we speak. Oh, my goodness. This is shame. Yeah. You know, you know, this is what happens, I believe, when you have your superstar become injured. Because I think that's what we're actually seeing. And I'm not, this is no disrespect to the teams that are winning. I mean, if you can get it in, get it in. If you become the better team, you just become the better team. And that's what we're seeing right now when we're talking about the Heat and the Lakers. It, that's just what it is. I can't, I can't. And, it, and if the other team is suffering injuries or the other team, for some reason, we thought they were deep and they're not. Cause that's when I think about the Bucks, I'm saying, what what happened? Cause y'all supposed to be able to do without Giannis, at least a little bit. Yes, yes. And, and then guess- Giannis come, and then Giannis come back, and you know you come back in your first game. Sometimes you're a little sketchy, and with, y'all still can't cont- you can't control or contain uh, one lone player in Jimmy Butler. One lone player, y'all can't contain him. Uh, Jimmy dropped what fifty six points on the head of he the Bucks. Let me, you know what, you know what, he y'all just make sure I get the ball. You know, wow. just you know, you do a little defense. I got this. I got this. He said he told in in quarter one he had twenty two points. How you do that? Mm-hmm. So you mean to tell me? That, and then what makes me really, what, what really gets me with the Bucks? Y'all can make no adjust. I mean, how you just gonna let Jimmy just one person? Win, win the game. Yeah. Get, get, get three games under you. How you? What? I know. The Miami Heat, well, Jimmy Butler in particular, dismantled whatever Coach Bud and the Milwaukee Bucks had going on <laughs> into the game plan. I mean, I looked at Coach Bud. He oh. was a sweaty mess. He didn't know what to do. Wait a minute. They panned him in one uh, time. I don't know if it was a time off or a side, whatever, it was a time off. He was sitting down. It had to be a time off. He was sitting down, and he looked so discombobulated. Like, what is going on? <laughs> trying to trying to do his little sketch on the little whiteboard. Nah, yeah, yeah. nah, what? bud, nah, bud, buddy. Uh, uh-uh, uh, uh, uh. Oh, no. it, it ain't even. He looked like he didn't know. He didn't know what was happening. How you gonna have one man just wreck your whole game plan? That is hilarious. Go on, Jimmy. Playoff Jimmy said, "Watch this." Unbelievable. But hey, you know what? This will be great for the NBA because really now in the Western Conference, the eighth seed doesn't look like the Miami Heat. You know, the Miami Heat played, they tricked us regular season and then they turned it on in the play in in the playoffs, right? But hey, shout out to the Miami Heat. Hey, they're up three games to one. And now they got to go to Milwaukee and try to get another one. That is going to be a tough closeout game. I don't think they'll win game five. I don't. I think we'll, it'll be 3 2 when it's all said and done um, whenever they play in Milwaukee. Yeah, okay. We'll see. Right now, can't nobody call uh, this game. So we'll see what happens. It don't matter. Jimmy Butler is ball- he balling out of control and can't nobody contain him. He doing exactly that, and which is. I'm speechless as we speak. Ah, okay, okay. Let's switch to the Western Conference. Uh, Looks like the uh, Memphis Grizzlies have dug themselves a hole against the Los Angeles Lakers. Kind of surprised that they could not hold on to their swim league going, I think it was like midway through the fourth Mm -hmm. or so. Yeah. Yep, yep, and they dug a hole right with their mouth. When it all started, it really did. Dylan Brooks, hey, he could thank himself. He, he could, could thank himself for this. Yep, he just couldn't, just couldn't let let the games just play. He had to add his his two cents, and now he about to go ahead and cash out in trying to get some worms for this fish while he on oh. fishing. Oh my God! Yes, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Yeah. I just I don't know what it is. They just don't look ready. And I'm sorry, the Lakers are looking really good. I hate to say it, but yeah, they look good. They look good. And I just think that the 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 odds are in their favor. And if they can ride the wave, get on it. Get on it. Well, if Brandy Clark and Stephen Adams, I know I keep saying this and everybody keeps saying this, but it's true. If they had the inside presence. 
if, if Brandon Clark was even available for that lob threat, AD would not be able to get busy in the paint like he is. Schroeder ain't coming in the paint with Brandon Clark or Steven Adams there. It's just, right. Austin Reeves is not going to chance it. You know, but because they don't have anyone, and Jared Jackson is always in foul trouble, he can't never play his defensive player of the year type game. And it's just frustrating. And then you look at Dylan Brooks, he's shooting up bricks. I mean, brick after brick after brick, go to the hole, dude. You're not in perimeter shooter. Like, it's just frustrating. You know, it, it's, but see, that's the thing about it. There's the level of maturity again. I just, I don't know. It's unfortunate that the Grizzlies, for me, they're having a meltdown. It feels like a meltdown for me. And I wish it wasn't the case because I really had them going, I mean, coming out of this series. But they have allowed the Lakers to run amok. And here they are, three down, and they about to go home. I, I just, I don't see it. I don't see it. I really, really don't see it. Wow. Well, hey. You know what? Looking forward, though, if the Lakers make it out of this series and they have to play, they got to play the winner of the Kings Warriors series. Ooh -wee. I say, ooh, we. Okay, right now, how I feel about the Kings and Warriors series, just real quick, or you mentioned it. Right now, ooh, we, ooh, we, I hope it's the Warriors because that's the matchup. If it's the Kings, I don't know. I, I don't know. Right now, the Kings, right now. You know, we'll see what they do when they go to game. Five is it for them or game four? I don't remember. The uh, game five. Yeah, game, be five. game five. When they go to game five, we'll see because they'll be back in Sacramento. But I think the Lakers, yeah, yeah, that midseason trade is paying off for them. It is paying off, and I can, and LeBron James is looking good. He he looks good. I mean, the league allows him to do it, so he's yeah. reaping the benefits of it. Yeah, it's really interesting. Wow. Okay. So who's playing tonight? What do we What do we need to be keying in on? Let me tell you something. At this point, does it even whatever whatever your predictions were, people, go ahead and ball up the paper. It don't even matter. <laughs> Cause I can tell you right now, it ain't even it. Okay, you know, the NBA app. Let me go ahead and refresh. All right, here we go. Um, the twenty fifth, yes, of April. We have the Hawks and Celtics. Boston don't play. Oh, God. Hawks will get one more on you. So then we have the why is this even here? Oh, I'm trip. Oh, that's bad. Timberwolves and Nuggets. I forgot the Timberwolves. Be <laughs> I'm not glad to even still on schedule. You know, the Timberwolves got another chance to, you know, beat the Nuggets. That's at six. And then we have the Clippers and the Suns. And the Clippers, Kawhi Leonard, and PG are already ruled out. So. Oh, my goodness. Well, we got DeJounte Murray suspended for mm -hmm. their game. Mm -hmm. You got. Mm -hmm. Uh, the Nuggets probably going to close it out because they, they messed around and let one slip away. And then, what was the last game? Oh, the Suns and the Clippers with PG mm -hmm. Kawhi. Russell won't do his thing, but in the end, the Suns will prevail. Mm -hmm. I think the Suns will prevail. I'm going to go ahead and just... Uh, concede. Go ahead and yeah, concede. Go, go ahead. ahead and concede because there's no talk of uh, PG or Kawhi coming back. It's just, oh, every time I think about that. I'm not I told going you. off on a tangent, but my goodness. I told you. One of the biggest disappointments of this playoff series, this playoff series, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Suns victorious, I can see. And if they're not, if not this game, Suns victorious. I just, <laughs> it's too bad. I really hope the Clippers do get one in, especially with Russ leading the charge. That would be really good. Um, but we'll see how it goes. 